Displays, display devices. Displays are the devices that put the data that is output from a computer into a form that is visible to humans. It is displayed on LCDs and CRTs. Today, LCD is widely accepted than CRT, because LCD is thin and requires a smaller footprint than CRT. One liquid crystal displays. The molecular structure changes in accordance with voltage in this device. The display device with the jelly-like material put in between glass plates called crystal that changes the degree of transparency of light is a liquid crystal display (LCD). The liquid crystal itself does not emit light. Because of this, a backlighting system in which a fluorescent light, etc., is shown from under the liquid crystal is mainly used. From the standpoint of rendering speed, it is slower than the CRT. However, it has the advantages of being thin, needing little space and low power consumption. Liquid crystal displays apply voltage to the liquid crystal. They are categorized as either a simple matrix system or an active matrix system. A simple matrix system. The simple matrix system is called the STN. Super Twisted Pneumatic System In this system, voltage is applied at the intersection of the x-axis and y-axis. It is inexpensive. However, the response speed of the picture elements is slow. B. Active Matrix System the active matrix system is also called the TFT, thin film transistor, system. It is liquid crystal in which the pixels have transistors. Distributed on a per dot basis. Switching is performed. It has the advantages of fast response speed and strong contrast. Color liquid crystals are the mainstream of this TFT system. Because each dot is expressed by synthesizing three colors, a color filter combines them. The number of dots is three times that of black and white. C. Structure of display screens. The entire display screen is seen as a collection of dots. The system in which each dot corresponds to a memory address for screen data is called the bitmap system. In the case of color displays, each dot is expressed in RGB, red, green and blue. Through the simple combination of these colors, eight colors can be expressed. In addition, the number of colors can be increased even more by assigning intensity levels for density to each color. The display expresses each dot based on this color information data. The resolution is the expression of the number of dots that can be expressed on the screen. It is indicated by the number of horizontal times vertical dots expressed. Today, there are a number of resolutions available such as follows. VGA, Video Graphics Array, 640 times 480 dots. SVGA, Super VGA, 800 times 600 dots. XGA. Extended Graphics Array, 
1024 times 768 dots. SXGA, Super XGA, 1280 times 1024 dots. UXGA, Ultra XGA, 1600 times 1200 dots. WUXGA, Wide Ultra XGA, 1920 times 1200 dots. QXGA, Quad XGA, 2048 times 1536 dots. The memory for displaying data on the screen for PCs is called VRAM, Video RAM. The capacity needed for VRAM changes with the number of colors to be expressed, number of colors generated, and the resolution. For example, if 4 bits is made available for each color in RGB, each color can have the fourth power of 2 equals 16 intensity levels of shading. By combining these three colors, it is possible to express each dot in the third power of 16 equals 4096 colors. The VRAM capacity needed to express these colors on an 800 times 600 dot screen is 720,000 bytes. Two CRT display. The CRT display uses an electromagnetic field and electrodes to bias the beam of electrons. When the electrons hit the display surface, the places where the electrons hit glow due to the fluorescent material applied to the surface. The CRT that is probably the most familiar to all of us is the TV picture tube. Three plasma displays. A plasma display is a display device that uses the light from gas discharge. A gas, such as helium, neon, is sealed between two glass plates. High intensity can be gotten. However, the power consumption is great. At present, they are not generally used. Four, OLED display. OLED, organic light emitting diode, display is a light emitting diode, LED, whose emissive electroluminescent layer is composed of a film of organic compounds. A significant benefit of OLED displays over traditional liquid crystal displays, LCDs, is that OLEDs do not require a backlight to function and therefore the less power is consumed. 